Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day, because I am too. <laughs> I have been wanting to share this video for a little while now, but it's taken me some time to actually go back and find the footage because all this stuff was filmed earlier in this year, like way earlier back in February, and I didn't have the chance to put it all together because this year has been short of a chaotic mess. So I'm very happy and excited that I finally got the chance to kind of like scrub all the footage and put together. And if you guys haven't already read the title up there, this is gonna be my bridesmaids proposal video. I am right now deep into wedding planning and I remember that I had the footage and I really want to share it. So found it all, put it together, compile it into one little video to share with you. This is essentially um, the story of how I asked my bridesmaids and my maid of honor to be part of my bridal party with me. And it is probably one of the most I don't know, cherished videos I'll ever have on this channel here. I'm definitely gonna go back and watch this video over and over again in the future, way after we've gotten married, just to kind of like remind myself of the happy times that we had. Not that there's gonna be bad times, but you know, the happy times. So I'm gonna do like a quick little recap in this video before I jump into showing you the footage of each and every single person, just because I wanna kind of preface to you guys who this person is to me. Um, and how I was able to approach them. So I actually put together these gift boxes a couple of months in advance, probably last year back in like September, but it took me a really long time to find the perfect boxes to house everything in because there's a specific look that I wanted and a specific size that I needed and a specific quantity. And then when I found the first ones at H&M, there's only two left online, so I ordered them and then the rest of them went out of stock and I needed a total of six to gift all my bridesmaids. And uh, I had to wait like months for them to come back into stock because I didn't want to give to one person and then not have to give to the next person for a few months down the road and have them hold that secret from each other. It was just, it was weird. So it was frustrating and I had all this stuff ready to go and I really wanted to give it to them specifically during the holidays, but I wasn't able to get the final four boxes until late January. So I planned it to align with a trip in Ottawa since the majority of my bridesmaids are in Ottawa. Well, half of them are in Ottawa and the other two are in Toronto, Hamilton area. Um, and Mel, my best friend, as you guys know, lives in Toronto with me. But since they're all over the place, it's really tricky to kind of coordinate and plan what I'm gonna ask each person so that everybody coincides together at the same time so that one person doesn't know for like six months before the other person since Peter and I don't go back to Ottawa like every month. But I'm so glad it kind of worked out. The delay actually made it work because I was able to ask almost everybody to be my bridesmaids within the span of two weeks, which is the shortest I was able to keep the time distance from each other. So the first person that I ask is Mel because obviously she lives here in Toronto and made it so easy. I actually got Dave, which is her boyfriend, and our friend Richard in on it to kind of help me so that it would seem just like a casual hang night nothing too crazy and that they just come over and I would surprise her with the gift. So without further ado, here's the footage of me asking Mel to be my bridesmaid and specifically maid of honor because she's the bestie. So she deserves that title. <laughs> I can tell you 60% of the people knew this was going to happen. Oh, so 
Okay, that's really good. See. Oh, I'm so excited! <gasps> I hope you like them. I do. I'm well, I picked yeah. them. So you can pick from, huh? Is this chocolate? No. Oh. No. <gasps> so pretty! Oh my god! Jesus! What is this? Is this my birthday? This is like my birthday present! No, it's better. This is better than my birthday! It's your birthday. Oh my god! Hey, no, it's fine. <laughs> I just hope Thank that you can like you. these are things that you can use for that the special day or leading up to this in life. Yes, just oh my god. Bit. This is the greatest moment. This is the greatest moment. Wow, well, this, this is one was so because it's my favorite nice. Scent, so that's why. So like, give me something of me and then these are all for you. Oh my god, these are so nice. This is so pretty. You like the necklace afterwards, Julie, and the day. I love it, that, but I'm not gonna wear it until the day. Okay, well, just don't lose because it. Because that for that purpose. Okay, please don't lose the necklace. I won't. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited! Does this mean we're starting? Does this mean this is the beginning of I starting? I haven't asked anybody else yet. Oh, oh, so oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. As, Whoa! On brand. We need to stay on brand. As, as a result, please don't post Centered. on. Please don't post on your stories <laughs> or make any Instagram stories. Until it's all up with the other girls. Okay, okay, yes. We okay. will tell you when you can you post. tell me when. Yeah. Yes. There's an embargo okay. on this deal? There's yep. an embargo. Yes, there's an embargo until I believe March 1st. March 1st? Yes. But do I get At the to know who else is, who's, uh, is a party? You'll see. You'll find oh. out. Oh. Once the cameras are off. <laughs> Bye, friends. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. And watching me become a maid of honor for the first time in my life. Hi. Um, and <laughs> Melcam signing off. Melcam <laughs> signing off. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that little video of me giving Mel her bridesmaid's proposal box. Obviously, she said yes, and I am overjoyed. She has been such a helpful hand so far, specifically planning my bachelorette trip. There have been so many different um, requests that I've been filtering in from everybody who's attending, so it's been great having her to help me kind of like narrow down everybody's schedule, timing, location, that sort of thing. And I cannot wait for her to be a part of my very special day. We're actually on like the deep countdown now. It's I think seven months till the wedding. Time has really crept up on us. I'm gonna keep documenting all these wedding things that pop up um, as it happened in our life, just to kind of share with you guys the process. And in case you're also planning on getting married sometime soon, you can kind of follow along and watch how we did it if you have any commonalities along with ours. But next up on the list was Olivia. So I went back to Ottawa about two weeks after I asked Mel, and I got the chance to ask Olivia, who's one of my cousins. She's about two years younger than me, and I also got the chance to ask my two other kind of like elementary to high school friends, um, Tiffany and Kathy. So without further ado, this is Olivia's Bridesmaids Proposal video. Thank you. Thank you. It's supposed to be at, oh wait, open it flat down that way. Okay. It's supposed to be? There's supposed to be um, something that comes with it, but I forgot in Toronto. How do I open this? <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a knot you're gonna have to figure oh out how to untie it, sorry. You're the worst. Ooh, so oh, wow. this is for you. I'm gonna ask if you want to be my bridesmaid. Oh, thank you. There's supposed to be a card that comes with it, but I forgot all <laughs> the cards. <laughs> it's all by accident. Thank you. Oh my god. So remember when you helped me pick my wedding scents? Yes. They're for you. Oh. You picked your own scents. Oh, thank you. I don't remember. When did I do that? <laughs> yes, oh. I do remember. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice. I have one Joe Malone thing and I like I love it. I have two. So the fragrance is for you can wear it like during the wedding or Wait, what is whatever. This? Um that's something I would like for you to wear at the wedding. Oh. Is it a lacy phone? Well yeah, it's oh, dear. Yes, correct. <laughs> it's a lacy garter to go oh with the thong. This is so nice. Thank you. How many how many fries points are you gonna have? Six. Oh, okay. Yeah, fucking crazy. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. There you go. I'm a stone. So please don't lose it until okay. the wedding. Okay. Thank then you. you can lose it after, apparently. Well, I mean, we're still. <laughs> wow, it's so nice. It's not that that scented. I know, but it smells nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is this? Oh. Oh, uh, did you make this yourself? Like, did you package these yourself? What do you mean? This. The box? Yeah. Ah, well, that's it. Don't throw it the box. You can reuse it. Of course I'm gonna keep the box. Mm. So that's from that a Kendall com 
Sky in Toronto. Oh, that's it's like my cool. favorite scent from them. I like it. I like it. It's rose. I like rose. I really like rose. Bueno. Ah! I can't close it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a car! Oh. Is it a car? Yeah, look. Oh, vroom vroom. Mm. Mm. I like this one. This is my favorite scent. Good. Did everyone get different scents? Did yeah. you get different scents? Oh wow. I think, weren't you there when I asked you and Justin maybe helped me pick them? Maybe. Mm. It was a while ago. It was like a long time ago. Maybe. Well, the, the earliest I could have been was like last year. That's a long time ago. Last year, September, yeah. October, yeah. September, I think. Oh, that's blue down. Flower? I think so. Rose is also blueberry too. Oh, I like it. It smells like tea. <laughs> that's why you like it because it's TNT. <laughs> No, it smells tea. like tea. Just yeah, like... I said tea. Oh. You said tea and tea. <laughs> tea and she likes tea. Okay. Yes, I'm your bridesmaid. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so be prepared now. You have to do double the work. Oh, God. Jesse and me. So as you guys can see, I got Peter to help me film that because he was there with me. Not all of the bridesmaids proposal videos, I was able to get him to help me, but I was so glad he was there because it just made it easier for me to hand the box to her and... I was able to be more in the moment than having to worry about filming at all But I was just so happy that she said yes She will be one of my bridesmaids along with my two of my other cousins Jessica and Amanda who will also be my bridesmaids And I'm just so excited to have her to be part of my wedding I've literally done like almost everything in my life with her growing up So I couldn't imagine it any other way Next up on the list was my friend Kathy so Kathy is actually really close friends with one of my other friends, Tiffany, and they knew each other all the way through middle school because they went through middle school together. And I know Tiffany from elementary school because we actually lived down the road from each other and we went to the exact same elementary schools. We parted ways in middle school. Actually, it's really funny. We hated each other in elementary school. And then in high school, she introduced me to Kathy, which lo and behold, actually is one of Peter's cousins. So it's a small world, but it's amazing because now friend and family get to mesh and it's amazing. I'm just so excited. So I got the chance to go visit her while I was in Ottawa. Everybody's schedule was a little bit weird that weekend, so it was really tricky for me to line up meeting up with everybody. So I essentially just drove to everybody's houses to be able to handle over these packages because I really wanted to make sure I was gonna be able to see them before I left because I think the next scheduled trip back to Ottawa after February wasn't gonna be until May. And that was like about a few months down the road. I really wanted to make sure I got a chance to ask everybody at that point to kickstart the planning process for wedding next year. So. Without further ado, this is Kathy's bridesmaid proposal video. I just pulled up in front of her house, so we're gonna walk over and head in, and then I hope I'll surprise her, and I hope she's excited to say yes. Anyway, <laughs> you didn't answer my question. Will you be my bridesmaid? Of course! Yay! I would love to be your bridesmaid. <laughs> So she said yes, as you guys can see, and what can I say? I'm super excited for her to be one of my bridesmaids. Ah, I just, uh, it's just all coming together. It's making me so happy and excited. Next up was Tiffany. I actually had originally scheduled to have Tiffany and Kathy hang out together with me that same night that I asked Kathy to, but unfortunately some personal and family things came up and we weren't all able to coordinate our schedules to align. So I drove to Tiffany's house the very next morning, literally the day before we were gonna come back to Toronto so I can hand deliver it to her. That way I made sure I was able to see her before I left because you know, don't wanna leave it for a few months because I would just be weird. So without further ado, this is Tiffany's video. For you. Why? Because you have to open it okay. facing this way down. Facing this way down? Yeah, so put it down first. Wait. <laughs> So like, put it this way down. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. And open it this way, and then you can open it up and pull it out that way. Okay. This is for you. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I don't have anything what? prepared for you. Like, so I'm gonna ask if you want to do my bag <laughs> It's okay. Oh Are her God. other suggestions that maybe you can drop it off with like Alex and then he can FaceTime you while he's giving oh it to Tiff or something. I was like, gosh. do I want to do it in person if I can? I wish we could have done this yesterday. That's too bad. Okay. I got home at like eight. Would have been As you can see, I was also very excited for her to be one of my bridesmaids. 
it's funny because we've known each other since elementary school and she's probably one of my oldest, oldest friends. And at the time when we were that young, I didn't know that we'd be that good friends. We parted ways in middle school and went to different schools and reconnected back in high school. And the funny thing is that we actually hated each other in elementary school. We actually used to throw snowballs at each other across the road when we'd line up for the bus early in the morning when we were like elementary school. And it's just weird how the worlds collide and we reconnected in high school and became really good friends. And she's the one who also introduced me to Kathy and we are like as thick as thieves the three of us three musketeers you know that's what we call ourselves so i'm very happy that the two of them are able to be part of my bridesmaids but they're my closest friends in ottawa and it just it makes me so happy that i'm able to bring some of that childhood and younger part of my life into the future with me as well so the next two and actually the final two people that i asked were my cousins jessica and amanda they're twins i have actually been bridesmaids for them each in the past. Jessica just had her wedding last month and Amanda got married two years ago. So, you know, it's kind of their turn to be my bridesmaid now. No, I'm just kidding. The three of us, along with Olivia, all grew up really close together. We would spend all the summers together, go to school, hang out after school, go on weekends, go over to her grandparents' house, watch TV in the basement. We have so many fond memories together that I could not imagine getting married without the three of them as my bridesmaids. So it was really, really bittersweet to be able to finally ask them in return since they had asked me to. And Peter and I decided to drive all the way down to Hamilton to go visit them because we don't get to see each other often. Um, they're working all the time and I'm working all the time. And even though Toronto and Hamilton are an hour away from each other, we don't have access to a car all the time. So it makes it really difficult for us to always align our schedules up together. And they're always constantly traveling for work and going back home to Ottawa. Same with us. So I told Peter, you know what? Enough is enough. We're going to get a car. We're going to go down. We're going to visit them and we're going to make this happen. And we did. So let's roll to it. Get like this side. What is this? And this, this is Joe for Amanda. Amanda. Is this, this why you guys inside. wanted to visit me? Because you got me a gift? Yeah, duh. Not so much you, specifically. Just visiting. This, this is apartment. so fancy. What is this? Um, oh, it smells really good. Are you good. struggling? Oh, it's like what? <laughs> oh my gosh, is this your bridesmaid? Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Dang! Is this your, your, your? Yeah. Wow. This is so cute. Did you like custom make this? Uh, well, I, yeah, I sourced a different thing. Yes, I will. Don't check this out, please. <laughs> Keep this. This is a decor piece. It's not just wood. Well, it is just wood, but like... But where would I put it in? I don't know. Oh, so cute. Food? Fruits. All of, all of oil bottles. Spices? Of course I'll be your bridesmaid. This is so fancy. What are these? <gasps> Perfumes? And oh my Remember when you guys helped me pick fragrances? Oh, yes. I gave yeah. you a ring pop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gave hair last. It's <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> wow. So remember when you helped phone. me pick like the scents? Where's my phone? Oh, you picked your own scents. No way. Yeah. Is that what happened? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, you picked your own scents. I don't remember what I picked. Just sniff it. You don't remember it. How did you remember? I picked like three different things that night. No, you didn't. You picked two. I wrote them down. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Wait, what? How do I know what it is? It says on the front. Like the wild bluebell. Yeah. Oh, that's like no, no, I got it. I thought. Ah. Well, that's a cool gift. Mm. Whoa! I have to put it back. Why? This is intense because it's it's wrapped really nicely, so it's well, gonna, gonna take it apart eventually. No, it's you're allowed to like use this. these products. No, it's gonna stay like this for it. quite some time. I mean, <laughs> the, you can take the stuff out of the box and leave the box back in, so you can use the things if you'd like. I'll wear it on your wedding day, okay? Yes, oh. I would love you to spray that all over yourself. Um, can I open all of them right now? Yeah, go ahead. No, you have to open one a day leading up to the wedding. <laughs> oh, yes, this is the one I remember. <laughs> so you guys have different ones? Because you yeah. picked different ones. Because like, I, I, I like less. Remember. I kind of just picked like a whole bunch. No, you picked two. I made you narrow them down. I wrote them down after you guys left. Oh, I like really? like yeah. less oh, floral scents. So oh mine are very like... Gosh. <gasps> I can put this in my washroom and it'll look so nice. Oh, my washroom's a mess. <laughs> no, no, I mean the box with everything yeah. in it. Hmm. Oh, man. What's in here? Hmm. I gave you each an engagement ring. Knew it. 
I will marry you. <laughs> one you. for Monday, one for Tuesday. Right? <laughs> we're starting a trend. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to do. We were suspicious, though, because Olivia was like... Oh, yeah, she messaged me. She messaged Amanda yeah, and was like, the kid Peter came over unexpectedly. And Amanda was like, must be a bride. It must be uh, a... <laughs> Either they're pregnant and or they also want to see her place too. Is that not a valid enough reason? No, Olivia's like, there's no way she wants to see my place. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> we'll wait for her to ruin it for you guys. <laughs> so we're like, I wonder if Vicky is either pregnant. Or there's only two things. <laughs> there's only two things that's she's important pregnant. for her to like come in person. <laughs> she's either pregnant or she's uh, asking us to be her bridesmaid. Yeah. So that I would like you guys to all wear on like the actual wedding day. Sure, kind of oh. Wait. So yeah, those were my very last two bridesmaids out of all six. And yes, I have six bridesmaids. I am overjoyed about that. Some people may think that's too many. I don't really care. They all mean so much to me in my everyday life that I cannot imagine getting married without all of them being part of my special wedding day. And you know what? We'll just make it work. If six is too many for you, then have less. But I just love all six girls in my life. And I'm just super overjoyed that all of them are able to be part of our wedding day. It's a very special day. And the next part is to have them all with me on my bachelorette trip. So I cannot wait. That's going to be, I believe, next year in April. That's a few months away, but I'm very excited. It literally feels like it's a trip that's going to be like next month. And I don't usually get excited for trips up until like a few weeks out. So you know I'm going to be very excited for this one. I cannot wait for all seven of us to be together on a trip for like about four or five days. It's gonna be so exciting. But in the meantime, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, oh, I just realized I didn't get a chance to go through everything that I put in their bridesmaids gift box with you guys. So let's chat through that really quickly. Since I don't really have the physical things here with me anymore, um, since I gave them all away to them, I will just kind of chat through all of them to kind of walk you guys through what I gave them and the meaning behind all of them. So first thing is the box that housed all of it. It is a wooden box from H&M. I was really adamant on being able to give them something that they would be able to reuse as somebody who works in deals with PR quite a bit I'm very accustomed to getting packages where majority of the packaging gets thrown out so I didn't want to give them a box I was just gonna get recycled and only be used for one time so I want to give them a box that they'd be able to use over and over and over either as decor at home or as organization or something in their life. So the wooden box from H&M was actually gifted them and I specifically told them, please reuse it, don't chuck it because that is a box designed for home decor. Next up is two perfume bottles from Jo Malone. If you guys don't already know by now, Red Roses from Jo Malone is my absolute all time favorite perfume and I really want to gift them all a little piece of Jo Malone that would resonate with them as well. Um, a few months back, I actually had a bunch of Jo Malone samples and I got them to all kind of like help me sniff through all of them and figure out which ones were their favorite. Under the guise of I was looking for the best fragrance for my wedding. Little did they know it was a fragrance I was gonna give them. So I gifted each one of them two boxes of Jo Malone perfume and what they wanna do with it is up to them, um, whether or not they wanna wear it at the wedding or every day today. It was just a little gift to them to kind of share a little bit of peace of me with them. I originally wanted to give them the red roses, but you know, I figured not everybody's gonna love this scent as much as I do, so I want to share the love of Jo Malone with them. So they got that. But since I wasn't able to give them a scent of rose, I actually got them each a candle from a local Toronto candle designer I think he is. His name is Brennan Michael and I gave them each a candle of my favorite scent from him called A Rose so that if they burn it they can have their house smell like rose but if not it can also serve as decor as well and I was just very excited to also give this to them. And then last but not least I also gave them each a little necklace from a local Toronto jewelry called Anise Jewelry and it had a small little tiny cubic zirconium in it and it is a necklace that I wanted to be very simple, but um, symbolic of me. I like to really wear typically dainty jewelry and I want to give them each a piece that they could wear together with me on my wedding day to kind of like unify them all together because besides that, there isn't much in regards to the bridesmaids outfits that are very similar. You guys will be able to see closer to the wedding what I mean by that. And that's it. Essentially the two fragrances, a candle and a necklace and a little nice handwritten note from me asking them each to be my bridesmaids. That was all that was in the box. I wanted to keep everything simple, but also functional and versatile for their everyday life to reuse afterwards, but also everything that had a small memento of me in it. And I found that I think I did a good job with keeping everything within that realm. I am definitely gonna be posting a Instagram post and a blog post discussing all of this as well. So make sure to check the down bar below so you can see the link to the Instagram post and the blog post detailing everything that I gave them in case you guys are also looking for ideas 
ideas as to what to put in your bridesmaids proposal box down the road but other than that i am over the moon overjoyed i cannot wait as the day gets closer and closer i'm just like ah i get so excited just thinking about it but Thank you for tuning in and watching this video today, guys. I hope you really loved watching my bridesmaids proposal video. And I can't wait for you guys to watch the next installment in the wedding series. Other than that, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!